Hello friends, welcome to my channel Facts About Forensic. So, in this channel, I will be telling you about forensic science. Uh, there are subfields. I will describe you in simple words each and every concept of forensic science. I it will help you for your studies for your. Uh, prior uh, studies for competitive exams like UGC net and some entrance exams it will help you so we'll start with the introduction of forensic science and also I'll tell you the condition the real condition of forensic science in India what is the scope what is career like I am also a forensic science student and I know the reality the condition of forensic in India so I will tell you everything so basically let's start with the basic definition of forensic science so no forensic science basically it is the application of scientific knowledge in legal justice for solving criminal cases right basically we apply our scientific knowledge like humne jitna bhi abhi tak learn kiya hai jitna bhi humne science mein padha hai ya fir kahi bhi kisi bhi field mein padha hai hum usko legal justice ke liye apply karte hain theek hai like hame pata hai ki hamare andar dna hota hai but how dna can be used for legal justice this is forensic science okay so what is the main thing in forensic science the main thing in forensic science is fraud that there has to be some fraud there has to be some crime so that we can solve it this is the main thing in forensic science without any fraud without any crime scene without any without any crime we can't say that a crime has committed right like if any murder has committed there must be a crime scene where a murder has committed and also there are certain uh, scenes where crime scene is not there like for example we'll take document examination in document examination there is no crime scene but there is fraud okay uh, any disguised writing any anything like in document examination we have fraud we have forgery okay there is no crime scene in document examination in this video i will talk about some basic questions that are being asked by everyone are being that should be clear to everyone who want to pursue forensic science now let's move on to the questions which are frequently asked by students or by uh, everyone who want to pursue forensic science who want to know the career of forensic science okay the main questions that i have written if you have more questions you can comment so as we all know the first image that comes in everybody's mind if they hear the term forensic is dr salunke yes it is like it is actually that comes in everybody's mind and everybody has this misconception of that that dr salunke is a forensic scientist but no he is not a forensic scientist forensic science is very much beyond dr salunke okay so i will tell you what actually forensic scientist has to do okay so forensic scientist does not perform post mortem very first and special point forensic scientist receive viscera material or anything after post mortem or in toxicology division okay and in uh, biology division they uh, receive blood or like any other cells for detection or identification of an individual so they have to work on it okay after the post mortem doctor forensic scientist has to work okay it's not like post mortem is also conducted by forensic scientist no forensic scientist get an idea after the report which is received by them after post mortem okay so is forensic a good career yes forensic is a good career but you can't Uh, like confirm or you can't promise that you will get job after pursuing some degree or some master de master's degree it is very hard to get a job in forensic like forensic is very least developed in india and it has to be developed because many students are interested in forensic and there is no job and scope for forensic students in india 
which university provide the course uh, if you search this question on google you will get the answer very efficiently but i will tell you uh, two to three universities which are best for forensic science the first university is and those universities are Lok Nayak Jaya Prakash Narayan National Institute of Criminology and Forensic Science which is also known as LNJN NICFS Delhi which is under Intraprast University and next is NFSU National Forensic Science University Gujarat and next is Dr Hari Singh Gaur Central University Sagar and uh, Usmania University is also good for forensic science there are many private universities which are giving degrees in forensic science like MIT University and Jain University okay then you will find this answer in Google very well are there pl placement in private universities and the answer is a big no there is no placement for forensic science in private university they do not provide any placement they they will ask they will tell you that they will provide placement while taking admissions but at last they just deny and raise their hand that they do not have any jobs for forensic science if like if you ask them for any jobs or any source or any as they are forensic scientists and this is like we students ask our teacher if they have some known so that we can work under them but they just deny they do not have their students i am also from private university i know this then next is what are the jobs after doing forensic science you can go for private labs okay you can go at your own you will not get any permission or any letter from your faculty you can uh, approach them at your own there are many private universe private laboratories that gives job but the uh, pay scale is very low like very low and if you want to work for any other field you can go for quality check you can go for quality assurance you can also go for many field like you can pursue ugc net you can clear this and you can go for professorship or lecturership and the next question is what about forensic science laboratories like there are many about 40 to 45 forensic science laboratories in india in total including regional central and state forensic science laboratory but their condition is very bad they uh, their vacancy are like in um, they do not release any vacancy if they are releasing any vacancy it is either one or two or they also are based on categories like you will get for sc1 you will get for st1 unreserved to like this vacancies are very low and they ask for work experience like two to five years they ask work experience so for that you have to work in some private labs and after getting some experience you can go for forensic science laboratories okay next question is what is the best subfield of forensic science like there are many subfield of forensic science including ballistic uh, bio and zero toxicology and chemistry question document fingerprint you can go for any field like there is no specialization you will learn each and every field and depending on your interest you can pursue further studies and one more suggestion that i want to give is if you are thinking that you want to pursue bachelor's in forensic science please don't go for bachelor's in forensic science you can go for master's in forensic science but please go for bachelor's in pure sciences or some program you can go for botany you can go for zoology or you can go for life sciences which can which includes uh, botany chemistry zoology and you can go for chemistry owners you can also go for physics owners mathematics owners but don't go for bachelors in forensic science then you will not have any scope like uh, you will uh, narrow your scope okay if you are uh, like really interested in forensic science go for masters in forensic science don't go for bachelors so these are some uh, of questions that are being asked by everyone if you have many question uh, you can comment i will answer and in further videos i will tell you about forensic science 
concepts and everything you will get to know thank you for watching please like share and